Ahoy, mates! We're going to give you a little bit of a different show today. Instead of being live from someone's apartment, we are live from the great outdoors. Live from the living world. Well, no. Welcome to the real world. What is this outdoor place you speak of? This is really well, creepy. Cody, well, Cody. A long time ago, before people who had intelligence, they lived outside. And they discovered, hey, it's kind of cool to live in the shade and have shelter and stay from the rain and the wind. And then uh, that, and then, then we became sed sedentary life. We developed sedentary lifestyles where we spend like 10, most of our days in office buildings to like support the economy. But the sun's a deadly laser. From what I've heard. It kind of is. That's why we're in the shade right now. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there's a very loud helicopter circulating the neighborhood. It's coming back <laughs> above us. Jesus Christ. No, like, it's probably going to drown on our voice. That's okay. weird. You gotta love that, right? Yeah. I tried to do a video and I missed it. Oh, well. I'm half dead. Help us! We're down here! We're down here! Stop! I'm trying to enjoy my breakfast burrito. Wow, so this is the outside episode. Okay, well, let's just. Uh, hey, guys, we, we haven't have introduced oh, ourselves. Oh, oh. Go ahead. I'm Lyle. I'm Evan. I'm Kobe. How are you? I'm good. That's good. Hey, guys, what was your favorite outdoor activity as a kid? Um. Staying inside. <laughs> I say that with open arms because I, I... I... Well, keep in mind, this is our outdoor summer edition. When's our outdoor winter edition going to happen? Oh, so you're saying you had more fun in the wintertime outdoors. I had fun, I, when I was a kid, <laughs> I had fun equally, like, outdoors and outdoors in both winter and summer. Nowadays, I just have fun outdoors in the summer. I think it was definitely 60-40 growing up where I was mostly inside, but I did... Enjoy my fair share of outside stuff. My nana lives. My nana and papa still live in the same house, still to this day. Ever since I was a kid, right next door to a park, hmm. like not not big as a park that we have here, but uh, nice, decent, grassy field. Good, solid jungle gym. It actually used to be one of those like metal jungle gyms until like everything had to be baby proofed and torn out and bring in like the old plastic hard kind of like So in other words, you were on those uh playgrounds that us eighties and nineties kids Hell yeah. braved. We, and we, we, had, had, skin, we had skinned elbows, we had road rash, we had burns from the steel slides. Oh the steel we, slides are always ones. hot. We are the real yeah. ones. We say this while we're outside uh just outside a playground right now. Yeah. Don't call the FBI on I, I used to have lightsaber fights on those jungle gym equipments. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Just, yes. and, and, No, no, before, actual, like, toy lightsabers. And, like, uh, and Cody, before yeah. we had portable speakers, you had to hum Duel the Face while you were fighting, like, do 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 Yeah, I, I would always hang off the do 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 Ow! Okay. You hit my knuckle! Okay, <laughs> I, I used to do the thing where I'd hang off the side, like, on one of those things where you just climb up. And yep. I'd just pretend I'm Luke Skywalker. I just lost my hand. I found out my villain is my father. It's like, Leia! And the teacher would always tell me to go down after a while. It's like, I, I love Leia, the day that it, I love you the... hear me? Well, I'll get down from there. I'm trying to stay in character, Mrs. Miss Minster. I'm in a mood. <laughs> I, I, I love the day that I figured out when I was on the jungle gym, like the monkey bars, mm -hmm. that I could put my legs above one bar and hang upside down. The day I figured out I can do that. I can dangle, yeah. Oh, man, that was so nice. Oh. Felt, felt the nice stretch in your back and your neck. Oh, my God. I guess if I had to list some activities I like doing outside, I can I can think of at least two things. Maybe three, although I'm not very good at the third one. First one is riding bikes. Mm -hmm. Love doing that. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. Second one was uh, swimming. I always love to swim. It's one of my favorite things to do. Me too. And the third one would be skateboarding. I don't do it very much anymore. Back in the day, it used to be really fun to do that, especially at the skate park in my local town. You remember I took our first year living in this area? I took you to the skate park down by the lakeshore. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. And then my board broke. Oh, yeah. There was always something special about going to parks and just like yes. meeting the right people that clicked with you. You know, we always hated when like you didn't click with them or they weren't really that fun to play yeah. with or whatever. Like, I don't know. It's always nice when you click with kids. Yeah. You know what I liked? Um, 
I'm, I'm, as a as a kid, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, maybe I'll be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but hey, like, hey, if you're if you're a kid person, if you enjoy working with kids, like, you know, because in my line of work, like, I've worked with kids a few times. Like, oh, yeah. I've, I've I've filmed like children's workshops. Like, it, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids can you working with kids can either be really good or really bad. I love kids, Charlie. I love kids. I remember yeah, I was a really I was a coach at, at a kids house league. Oh, seriously? Thing in uh, in grade school actually. Oh, it God. was in grade eight. We had to like have like teams of like say like I think there was like five of them team like the the the, the purple team, the green team, the orange team. I was I was like in charge of the purple team. Mm -hmm. Me and like two other people we were assigned, and we had so we were in grade eight. I think we had to have like a class or a team filled with like kids that were i think we we're in grade, grade three grade two or something like that they were really young yeah. and they all were so brutal <laughs> it was just indoor all it was was indoor um was indoor soccer in, a, in the gymnasium right. and the the guy that would be in charge of like the music and getting everything together he played the same two tracks of music through <sighs> our every single house league it was one was mr crowley by ozzy osbourne nice and the other one was uh it was a Black Sabbath song. Uh, paranoid or no, nib, not paranoid. Nib. Which one? Nib. N I B. No, no. Um, War pigs. No, it wasn't War pigs. It was. That wouldn't uh, be. I don't think that'd be too appropriate for uh, kids. Or maybe it wasn't Sabbath. It might have been ACDC, Actually, come to think of it. How'd it go? It was. It was TNT. TNT. Thank you. Yeah. TNT. I yeah. remember. For <laughs> sure. I remember that, that Ozzy Osbourne song. TNT. Dynamite. Yeah, but I think I know I if I had to prefer biking over swimming, honestly, I want to join a swimming league even today. I was say, there's a pool right there. We should just jump in. Hell yeah! Yeah, the oh, three cool. the, the three things I want to get into that are not really like hobby. I guess they're hobbies or interests. I don't know. Like it'd be, it'd be swimming, basketball. I love just to shoot the hoop, and um, like pick drum. up basketball. Yeah, anything. Like, I don't want to join a league or anything like that, but it'd be nice to, like, go to a court and just, like, shoot the, shoot the hoop. And then, uh, was drumming. But I live in an apartment building. I ain't drumming anytime soon. Mm. Electric drums, sure, I could, that, I mean, that's a nice alternative, but, like, it's not, it doesn't feel like it would be the same. Mm. I'm sure Josh would agree. I don't know. No. Even though he does have one. <laughs> yeah. Um, those are kind of, like, my bucket list as an adult to get to yeah this summer i really got into scootering yeah i know so yeah you had like uh stories whatever they're called god yeah, it sounds facebook. so old <laughs> yeah i saw you on the, the facebook back you, back you got the, day, the video i made some, some stories about the time i went on a scooter <laughs> it was fun though i used to i like going around this park and like just rolling around at, at like 10 at night or something i had a normal scooter like That's what you had or what you have, and I also had, an, I had an, I had an electric scooter as well. Oh, I remember those. Oh, like you, you sit down, and it kind of like motorizes the same way. Like the handlebars are kind of like a motorcycle. Have you, have you they, seen, have they, you seen those electric segways? Electric segway? No, I, I have. Se I, I've seen the ones where like they're segways, but they're also the ones you just stand on. Oh, uh, I see so many stupid videos of dumb people like going near the pool and they like, fall in the pool. Oh my god! The segway just slips out from under them. The electric scooters back then, I, I actually wouldn't recommend them. They came with these like little batteries that were the size of like pills. Triple A's. Yeah, but they were like no, no, like they oh, were literally the size A's of though. pills, like pill capsules. Oh, those silver things. Yeah, I know. Yeah, those. yeah. And once it dies, you really have to find the right one, and it was tricky to find the right one. And it's like not just, worth it. Yeah, I never used it ever since, and they're pretty slow. Like I don't know. You're not really getting any, like, athletic... I mean, not that you're getting anything out of, like, a regular scooter anyways. All you're or doing is just... It's, your, yours would be better. At least you're, like, moving your one of your foot feet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're pushing. You're putting effort. I back, also... Back in my day, we used muscles. I didn't know that you guys enjoy biking so much. Because one of the things I'd oh, love yeah. to do before this summer's up is I'd love to take... I'd love to just take an afternoon and go biking with you guys. Even if it means, like, you, I I own a bike and I ride it daily. I'd have to, like, rent one of those, like... The rent-a-bikes. Yeah, yeah, the rent-a-bike yeah. things. Sure. They're around. They're pretty yeah. sparse. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, um... Sparse? <laughs> What no, the, no, the, the spares. 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 That's it, a word. Sparse isn't even the right word. It's more like they're, they're common. Uh, but I'm not what are the judge. things? I am just so dead tired. You need some coffee. I already had coffee and it didn't do you shit. You need cranberry juice. Oh, 
Cranberry juice won't do nothing to me other than spike my sugar. Like, <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Uh, do you guys ever? Do, no, I'm sad. Do you guys ever do rock climbing? Yes. Yeah, well, that's both, fun. Both indoors and outdoors. I did it indoors quite a bit. At okay, at the summer camp I went to, we had a small. We had two rock climbing walls. One was t small for the younger kids, and the other one was huge for mm -hmm. the bigger kids. And I went on both of them at, at different points in my life. Um, but we, what we also had was we had like a, like a, a tall freestanding structure where it had like little spikes you can climb out of and we had to be harnessed and everything. And there was one thing where you climb up a pole almost as tall as that light, uh, that light pole over there and you jump and you smack a bucket. I, I'm not good with heights. Like it, it does like, here's the thing. I, if I were to climb a tree, you're gonna have to call a fire department to get me down because it's like, I can underestimate how tall something is. Until I'm actually up there, like I'll see, like you can actually see the CN Tower from where we are, and it's like that fucking thing doesn't look so tall. You get up there. When I did the glass floor in the CN Tower, I couldn't do it. I've I was done it. so not nervous. only have I done the glass floor, I have lied face down on the glass floor, and I've lied. I've I've look, Cody, I've just been like this. There's a picture on my Facebook to prove it, dude. I did it, but I was so squeamish. I can feel it in my legs. Just I'm shivering. My nerves are fucking racked. I know it's safe. They literally have a photo that says this thing can hold forty-seven. It can hold the weight of an elephant. It said forty-seven grizzly bears or three humpback whales. I get it. I just don't three feel safe. Three humpback whales. Wow. I don't wow. feel safe. I'm fucking pat. When I went there. I was Pat and Kathy, I'm I'm trying to stand on it. This asshole Pat plays glass cracking sound effects from his phone behind me, Pat! right up right up to my ear. And he didn't get assaulted for it? <laughs> by me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Now another story with heights that also has to do with outdoors. Well, remember the first? Remember how like I had there. I hadn't been to Wonderland in like over a decade and a half since I was like a really little kid. And one day in October, one day towards the end of the 2016 season, Lyle's like, "Hey, you want to go?" I'm like, "Sure," because I like, hadn't been, and I like a yearning for some like lost time on roller coasters. So we go to Wonderland. Uh, I love going to amusement parks. And I, we go to Wonderland, and I'm like, Leviathan doesn't look so tall." I get mm -hmm. up there. What was I thinking? Oh. Oh. And then I'm like, I'm, I'm like Shrek. I'm like Donkey from Shrek. It's like, don't, don't, look, down, down, don't, look, don't down, look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. I'm looking down. I'm looking down. No, yo, you were like, oh, yeah, I could see my house from here. <laughs> and at that time, you yeah, were. Yeah, you want to know what, what, what stocks and stock prices at basketballs have in common? <laughs> They go up and down and up. And like, why down. are you talking to me about rising stock prices while we're on a roller coaster? I don't want to hear about a recession while we're on a roller coaster. Oh, uh, yeah, no, but it's, that, it's cool though. Like, my reason. I look when I'm on a really high coaster, I cannot look. I'll fear for my life if I look off to the side. So what I do is I look. Hey, I there. look directly ahead. Oh, a, bu yeah. a busker. I'll look directly ahead up to the sky, and I will be like, yep, this is cool. And I'll just talk to Lyle about something to distract me. Like, usually, usually superhero booty. Superhero booty, yeah. I've, like, seen that, I've seen that trend of people where it's clearly f the, you're friends with someone else. Oh, wow, an ant right on the laptop. No. Hi, Flick. Why are you going to Flick, Flick? <laughs> he didn't do anything there, to you. There's, a, there's an ant on my Apple computer <laughs> yes, um it's a window or say say you're sitting on the uh the very front lyle yeah. and then right behind you is you evan you'll record lyle just turning his head around and just staring at you stoic on the roller coaster so as everybody's screaming and going ah, they're no, like, fun. The whole Lyle's not, not flinching he's just staring right at you like with a cold face i'm good at but that. i figured like don't waste your experience like you wait who knows how long you're waiting in line don't waste the, you know an experience oh on dude that. did i ever tell you a story i was on a leviathan with veronica and uh, as we were going down the hill the big hill um we saw a phone just fly in the air <gasps> Someone lost someone, their phone. Someone was trying to record themselves. They lost their phone. And oh, it you was don't like, do that. It was falling at the same velocity as we were. Oh, no, why'd, you, like, why'd you kill you? I don't want to crawl up my leg. What's it going to do to you? It's going to bite your, me. It's going to nibble your bum? <laughs> Uh, well, now we can't. Anthony. Now we can't say that no animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. <laughs> Fucking damn it, Cody! <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Insects, <laughs> they're pests. Oh, the so only good bug is a dead bug. Now you know what? That's another thing. How come? Like, let's say if I 
if I kill a Canadian goose, even on accident, <laughs> or if I kill a cat what the or hell? a dog, oh, that, I can go to jail for animal cruelty. The only thing I But ever, if you kill no, insects, no. no, you're not going anywhere. No, no, no. I don't give a flying fuck about insects. But I will tell you the one thing that I felt so horrible about growing up was one time I was mowing the grass and and we had a j good solid John Deere mower, right? Uh -huh. Used to mow the grass all the time because we had two acres. Like that was our chores every That's single cool. weekend. But it's okay. I had my iPod that kept me company. Oh, lucky. <laughs> and I miss my two acres. Barbecues and pecan pies. And I'm on and I'm on the grass. And all of a sudden, I felt this. I I saw it. I didn't have time to get out of the way, but I saw a frog hop, uh, hop, hop, hop. And then I'm like, oh no! I tried to swerve, and I just hear this, and I'm like. Oh no, and I just see this guts. Yeah, everywhere. I did and I that felt once. Too. So bad. And that's where so I knew. Scarring. I just I knew that I had an affection over animals and stuff like that. I just don't want things to get killed. Oh, that's horrible. I don't want things to get killed. Yeah, I remember I was in a car uh, last year. I was in a car with uh, someone who ran over a squirrel. Like we were, gen we were all genuinely shaken. Oh, I, that's the worst. Was, and you could feel it, like under. You can literally. It's like going over a speed bump. I was with my parents once, just going down this residential area, and all of a sudden, some neighbor just opened the door, and just the dog bolts out onto the road, <laughs> and my mom hit the dog and. And killed it. Uh, but oh my we were thinking in hindsight, who does that with their dog to just let them bolt out to the road? Like we, I witnessed him open the door and it's like, like this. That's like, traumatic, like, dude. He was kind of like, he, oh, my mom was so affected. We were on our way to a party, and that's all that was on her mind the whole night. Oh yeah, look, I'd be the same thing. I mean, yes, like that's terrible. But like in the same breath, we were saying we were like, trying to like the, the owner should have known. Better. The owner should have known better. Yeah, like for real. Can and I this was out in the I'm, country, or like? Uh, no, it was like it was in Bell River, like uh, kind of near, kind of near uh, Windsor. Like it was, it was, and it was so like a suburban And we weren't neighbor. even going even that far. Like, or, sorry, that fast. Yeah, you weren't going that fast. Man. We weren't going at, at all. Yeah. Wow. Can I rectify this negativity with a positive story? Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which All is right. awesome coming from you because you're the self-proclaimed negative one. I'm the movie boy. But yes, I remember uh, I was with my best friend at the time and uh, his cousins, and we were playing baseball in the backyard, and it was a really nice day. You know, it's back in the days when your friends would come over and you play rock band for a couple of hours. Oh, yeah. And you go out and play for a bit. Yep. And then uh, I, was in, I lived out in the outskirts of, of a small town, so... I look out on the dirt road, and I see a snapping turtle there. Aww. Uh, we all go out and look at it, because, like, I've seen many snapping turtles over there. I live by a creek. So, um, what happened was, is that it had, like, an injured leg. So, it was kind of, like, you know, pulling itself along kind of slowly. It's a very big one, too. And then what we noticed is like that... Like the size of a dinner plate big, or...? Bigger. Oh, wow. They're, they're, they're like, the size of a shovel. Yeah. A shovel spade. Uh, and, um, yeah, I noticed down the road, like, like at least, like, ten minutes away, there were these uh, tractor trailers coming by. These big ones, and they, they would take up most of the road. And they'd probably indirectly, like, they run over it. it. Huh. If we didn't do anything. So, I got me an ATV. We drove over with a bucket, like, a big bucket and a shovel. And we scooped him into the bucket and put him onto the ATV because he's oh. quite heavy. We actually couldn't carry him. He was that big. Yeah. And so you can't go pick him up because yeah. they're called snapping turtles yeah, for a reason. Bite. Yeah, yeah. And they can actually take your finger off. So, like, we scooped him into the bucket. And we drove over to the creek because that was, like, not even, like, a minute away. And we just, like, plopped him in and he fell into the water and Good. he swam away. Good. You're, 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 okay, there are two turtle stories. One's very short. My mom and I found a tiny turtle that was like smaller than a dinner plate. On the, I, when I was living with my mom a few years ago, she used to, we used to live near a lake and, and a river that flowed into the lake. While we were driving by the river, I, we see an overturned turtle on his shell and his leg, it was kind of cute, but like his legs were like, you'd be amazed how fast they seem like when they're overturned. Like, oh yeah. But no, but like, no, we had to help. And he was small enough where we could pick up off his shell and we put him on the grass and he inched back to the pond and he <laughs> lived the remainder of his life. I, I love turtles. I've always wanted to have a newt. A newt? A newt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Newts yeah. were kind of a cool reptile. Is it because you saw Matilda? Huh. No, actually, it was Ned's Newt. Oh, yeah. It was an old uh, my... Teletoon show. Oh. Sorry, Matilda, they had a salamander. My my friend uh, Joy has a turtle. He's yeah. quite cute. Here, here, here's Axolotl, dude. Axol Axolotls. Here's, Axolotl. here's something I want to bring up, guys. I don't know how to... Axolotls. Axolotls. My yeah. favorite childhood pastime... Forget biking. Forget Can I, Before you get into that, yeah. I want to tell my second turtle story. So... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, you said two. My second turtle story... Um, 
it was actually on a fishing trip because in every summer, like one of the things my, my dad and I, we still love to fish and like ever since he started, he's with Daniel's girlfriend. She loves to fish too. So some once, like once or twice a summer, we'll take a weekend and then we'll That's just go, we'll go fishing. Sure. And we went to this lake just outside of Halliburton, Ontario place I, I i i don't know if i ever told you guys this but i when i was when my parents had me they had two homes they had a home in toronto and then a home up in albert and they would alternate between the two yeah and i was i spent some time there when i was a baby and then my eventually we sold they sold both the homes and then they moved to richmond hill so but but so anyway so back in uh up in albert we were on this lake and i'm dipping my toe in the water while i'm fishing on a pontoon boat and i see a turtle get dangerously close to my toe i'm like i'm like is that a turtle and i'm like i i, I just lifted my toe out of the wire i'm like uh you have taken my toe off because he was a he was a big guy mm. and, and he was swimming in the water in the water yeah. turtles are extremely graceful and they're very fast mm -hmm. yeah. i was i was gonna say earlier um forget biking yeah. forget anything else from my childhood my favorite pastime indoor gymnasiums or indoor like play places you know like um uh, jungle like gyms the tubes like the that. mcdonald's play places like that like but like from windsor we had like several places like that were like devoted to like making like the mcdonald's play place but times 10 like oh, we yeah. had wheels in it was half it was half a roller skate uh place like roller rama kind uh, of place roller blading. I used to yeah i love doing I, I wish those were still around i'd love to go to one of i've those. been to two i've been to two of those places they are great for birthday parties totally maybe, maybe yeah. stranger things season four will bring it back hell yeah yeah i remember going back. into i remember going into one of these places it was so okay the thing i didn't like about mcdonald's play places is that even when like once you, even if you're a little kid like six years old you're still not you're it, you're still tall, too tall to stand up there and you, without ducking, which is why like once you age past the age of eight, you can't go in there anymore. You're you're it's all like corridors but and like you know. There was one play slides. place that was yeah. so tall, I could stand up straight in there oh. and walk through it. And um, I honestly was telling my mom I felt like I was on the Death Star. Like like yeah. Do, 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 Speaking do, of ball pits, so uh, we had like a really like there's still it. it there's a McDonald's that I used to live at, at like two places that I lived at in Windsor, actually, growing up. We always used to go to this one McDonald's right across the street from a Burger King that also had their own little mini play place. But the McDonald's one was huge, and it had a ball pit in there. And eventually they got rid of it, right? Yeah. And they all they left was nothing but like one of those like glass, like, you know, the, the glass tube kind of like window things there. Like it was almost like it was never there. I'm like, why'd they get rid of this? And I found out later on, oh, you know bacteria breeding ground oh. shit piss just Dude. it's just disgusting Spit. everything remember, everything that you think of that a kid would do in this ball pit they do and they don't clean it they never they clean it don't so they just do you remember that you remember the pacifier pacifier Vin yeah, Diesel, Vin where Diesel. He has, he's a Navy SEAL, has to look after these 13 Oh, kids. I don't think and I saw that. Yeah. Oh, it's actually not bad. The Passover, it's it. a little gross, but like there's the grossest scene in that movie involves a ball pit. Yeah. No, what about the sewer scene? Where he throws a tracker down in the toilet and he, uh, he thinks he's in trouble. Like Vin Diesel thinks one of the kids is in trouble. He jumps into the sewer. Oh. And, uh, but kids. this place called Wheels Inn that I was saying, where it's half like roller skate and half. Like, I'm not kidding, guys. It is a huge jungle gym yeah. you go up really high and there's one part that i remember as a kid it was so terrifying where it's all like a bungee cord net yeah. almost yeah. where like your legs will sink through but way down below is the ball pit and i'm just thinking if you just cut this oh and you have free fall and you land in the ball pit like if you just take matters into your own hands it's kind just... of dangerous <laughs> oh yeah but like but there's there's something so fun like you know we'll play like hide and seek or tag in there with yeah, kids like that great. that to me was just was so fun. There's also this other place called the the Junchkin, Junch, the Junction. The Jun I can never pronounce that word. Junction. Junchkin. Junction. 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 Yeah. Where down below it's an arcade. Think of junk and shun. Down, down below, the junk. down below, it's an arcade, and then it's all surrounded by a big jungle gym equipment indoors. Yeah. The slides, the you guys. I got a mystery airhead. I wonder what flavor it's. Oh yeah, be. I got a mystery airhead too, actually. Why is there yeah, a golden it's, ticket it's, it's in literally those? Literally folding <laughs> from the heat. You gotta make it. It's flat, not even that hot. I mean, maybe we're in the shade. Hot out. We're, we're the biased. We're in the shade, but I was in my pocket. So. What'd you guys think of water parks growing up? 
I liked them. They were fun. Oh, why? Do you guys ever go to Wally World? What's Wally World? No. Wally wait, wait, wait. Wally World is actually from National, National Lampoon's, Lampoon's Vacation. vacation. Sorry, it's wa Water World is what I meant to say. Oh, yeah. It's a place near Leamington. Hey, uh, Cody. There's a box Cody, flop. I have a question. Hmm. Will you take us to Mount Splashmore? No. Will you take us to Mount Splashmore? There's our Simpsons reference. <laughs> Will you take us to Mount Splashmore? I think I had a blue raspberry. What'd you have, Cody? Uh, something fruit or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> <It's all> fruit. <laughs> so something fruit I didn't get or some heads. shit. <laughs> but will you take us to Mount Splashmore, Lyle? Have any on right now, Red? Oh, sure. Thank you. Will you take us to Mount Splashmore? Did you guys like wave pools? Yes. Well, oh, there, there were the only outdoor... I bet I... Oh, it's a mystery area, too. But anyway, so I, um... Wave pools. Wave pools, yes. Where... And then everybody runs into the water. Yeah. No, do you remember... I remember at Wonderland, Lyle and I went to uh, the water park on a particularly hot, hot day of the year. And yeah. for reasons we don't know, the wave pool... I think we went with um, your ex, Marie, who you were still friends with at the time. Still our friends. Hi, Marie. Yeah, yeah. Listen to our show. I think she does. Oh. Well, anyway, so we were with Marie, and <laughs> we were... I think we were with Marie, and I think Daniel, and then... Oh. And then we, um, for some, we were on the coast, so we got to the park. For, for reasons I don't know, the wave pool was closed, and there was, like, a, a whole mob of people just scorching, like, sweating, like, wanting to go in the water. But then the lifeguards were kind of like, the pool is now open. Everyone just charges into the pool. Yep. That's what they do at Water at Waterworld. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I remember, did you guys ever go to, um, um... Wheels in? No, no, not wheels in. I just said that one. I um, grew up around. It was called. Is that uh, like a driving theater? Oh fuck! I'm forgetting oh, the name of it now. Flavor? I don't even know. I'm forgetting the name of it now, but it's in London. I don't know if it's still around, but it was half a hotel and half an indoor water park, and as well as, a, as an indoor Wolf lodge. No, no. I, Great Wolf Lodge looked like a cool place. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but my parents and my sisters and I went there for New Year's Eve, like 2004 going into 2005. Oh, wow. Nice. We, we spent two nights there, and it was like one, some of the funnest times we ever had. Like, we, you know that you know that uh, booth that you get inside and it, and it sketches you? Yeah. Yeah. Like Caricatures? We, uh, yeah. Like, it'll do like an accurate one or it'll do like a cartoon funny looking one. We did, my, sister and I, my sisters and I did like a one-on-one... -on -one, uh, Kind of like the goofy cartoon looking one, and I, I remember looking like a like a foogly. Is that what those things are called from Spy Kids? Oh, the foogly? Th thumbly, thumbheads. Like they're they're fooglies, like oh fooglies, like fooglies. Like they're, they're talking about the thumb dumbs. No, 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 not the thumb thumb guys. Mm. The foogly guys. I remember looking like one. Help! The is a bad man. Help us save us. The is a bad man. Help us save us. <laughs> um, I got the last one I had was orange. Nice. I, I, I just, it's weird just as like an adult like I'd, I'd totally love to do kiddish things but I'd be like I don't know if anyone look at me kind of crazy <laughs> hey you know, when so, you have kids you'll be able to relive all those moments yeah right? I'm looking forward to hell um but um yeah, I think me and oh, water I, parks. Anyway, going back to Halloween for a second anyone anyone can enjoy Halloween at any age true yeah I can't go to I don't give a shit enough. what those bullies and in recess taking the fifth grade said that was some fucked up shit like Spinelli says she doesn't want to celebrate Halloween because like those no apparently because like um what's the name of that fucking douchebag uh, anyways going back to like, the water parks thing um I, I I used to go to those it's just the only problem I don't like is that my skin burns really easily no oh, matter, you're like me you have fair skin no matter how much sunscreen I put on I'm always gonna get a burn Oh, even with or, or the water wow. will like wash it off eventually. Get the waterproof one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, and it's still like I miss a spot. All right, and then it's like oh, I'm all wet. Uh, now I'm too cold. Now I'm too hot. It's just like a fluctuation of emotions. I don't mind indoor water parks, but yeah, I don't fuck with the water, the, the outdoor ones so much. It's also gross to see like band aids all over the, 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 mm -hmm. the floor. I fucking hate yeah, that. you see that a lot. Yeah. You guys ever went to Bingaman's Park? No, no. Is that that place that's across? I guess you're in the proximity. There's a there's an amusement park in the U.S. in Ohio across Lake Erie. No, no, this is in between uh, here in Toronto. I'm just forgetting exactly where it is. You can look it up easily, but I forget exactly where it is. It's a campground, as well as like 
there's it's everything. It's a water park. It's an indoor arcade. It's there's mini golf. There's paddle boats. There's like it's like a festival place. We 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 my si- again my sister actually how it worked back then was my parents would bring my sisters and I, and my sisters and I would choose like one friend we can bring along with us. So I I had this old friend of mine named Sam. Nice. Always brought him places. We were like so tight, and. Uh, <laughs> We remember going there and the water, speaking of band-aids, this is why I brought it up. Um, we went down this huge water slide. It was one of the best tube water slides I've ever been on in my life where it went down this huge hill and hit the, and would hit the pool at the very bottom. But there was a band-aid in the slide that I was going down on and it stuck to me and it took me out of the experience. That's fucking gross. Oh, that reminds me of another reason why I didn't like water parks. Uh, I was kind of a chubby kid. And a lot of kids made fun of me for that. Oh, fuck them. So I didn't fuck like them. I didn't like wearing I didn't like being topless back. Well, I hope they drowned. I hope they Whoa! <laughs> Do I hope they get hit by a tsunami. My my parents oh, my parents have a my parents have Is a that pool. why you love that uh joke in uh in uh the SpongeBob where it's like Tubby No one calls me Tubby <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> my parents still. To, my parents still to this day have a an ab, uh, above ground swimming pool, like circular swimming pool, and we do like some of the best whirlpools in there. Oh, yeah. When we get the f- whole family together, my nieces and nephew, when we get in there, nice. then when we try to circle around and go the other way, the current is just way too fucking powerful. Now, do either of you remember Ontario Place? Yeah, yeah. The well, only I went there once. The so only okay. There are th- the only thing that's really open in Ontario Place. It, the, the theme park's long gone, but the Cinesphere theme park is, sucks. Yeah, there was uh, my you uncle had to walk fucking everywhere. My uncle, yeah, no, the theme park is like geographically like split into two sections, and you have to. It's like a five. It's like a ten minute walk from one side of the park to the other. But to be fair, Wonderland's kind of the same deal. Yeah, but there's like rides everywhere in Wonderland. You have to walk like ten minutes to get to another ride in Ontario Place. Yeah. I mean, that Ontario Place was a bit lame, to be honest. Yeah, it was. Like, it had, like, you know that, I don't know if you guys remember this, like, this happened a lot in Windsor, but there's always, like, these little carnivals that would happen in, like, parking lots at malls. Did you guys ever have those? Yes. Where there'd be, like, you know, that, that, that stupid slide where you go down and it's on a little crappy-looking carpet it's yeah. just like ooh, 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 that was fun yeah. the oh, dragon yeah. roller coaster oh, it's yeah, not yeah, even yeah. a roller coaster oh, it's just yeah. i mean it's, it's pretty it, eventful it, I, it has it has honest, it has a really like so, steep and powerful churn that's yeah. all i remember from so, it but like those things are so now lame. that we're talking about like parking lot carnivals yeah not to, okay these are not to be confused with county fairs county fairs are oh no county better. fairs are way better yeah okay, yeah but how do you feel about the cne because the cne is literally a lot, dude. The C and E. Okay, I'll take the C and E over the Corn Fest, the Strawberry Fest, the Sun Splash. Oh, okay. these are all annual festivals that happen around Windsor every year, yeah. and they are lame as fuck. <laughs> they are so lame. Yeah. I always hated going to them. The Corn Fest is probably the only place that's better because at least you get bands. One time, uh, Theory of a Dead Man came. Oh. Yeah, I mean, not that it's like, yay, Uh-oh. Theory of a Dead Man's coming, but the, like, wow. they, the back they, wannabes they get, they that get, are grosser but and, they get, they, and, and raunchier. The fact and is that they get, like, less the, PC. Yeah, they, they get famous bands. The Sun, actually, the, uh, the Strawberry Fest once had a default. Do you know that band? I think so, yeah. And I'm wasting my time. Uh, I'm wasting my time. Butt rock. Yeah, it's butt, butt rock. rock. Yeah. Well, Windsor's the. Breeding ground of butt rock. <laughs> it smells like a butt. It sounds like a butt. Butt rock. But it rocks. <laughs> but it rocks. <laughs> uh, we could probably talk for another fifteen minutes. There's so. also sure, yeah. But do, but yeah. So I remember this has to go back to winter. But in Richmond Hill, okay. So my elementary school, as you will hear about in the school days episode, at the begin every September. And also every June, the school would have a carnival, like, you know, to play out the school year. Oh, yeah. To welcome in the new school year and to play out the Yeah, mine did that, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there was that. And in the winter, Richmond Hill had something called the winter, the Richmond Hill Winter Carnival, where at one po- at the mill pond in the center of the town, like, they have, like, not really rides, but just cotton candy and uh, and uh, just activities and the, the pond. Typically, the pond is frozen, so people skate, given that the, the average oh, yeah, skating. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I love the winter carnival. 
I also, but I also liked um yeah going back to the whole like yeah those lame rides in like parking lots. Fuck, they're so lame. Yeah. Um, or no, what was the one where it was like it was like a maze where you go inside and there's like funhouse mirrors and uh, you do oh, like yeah. a zigzag making your way up and then it's just a slide that goes down. Oh yeah, the fun houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of nice. Okay, they're fun. They're like an adventure. Um, the only thing I ever liked going going to a carnival, honestly, cotton candy. I know that sounds lame, but cotton candy cotton is awesome. It's a very nice festival kind of. Cotton thing. candy's the shit. I like the scrambler rides. The ones are scrambler rides. Really Do you remember, Lyle? I think the first my like, county fair <laughs> we had the zipper. Or, or are you talking? I don't know if it's the same one you're saying, but like, is it like a? It's like a space shuttle, and you lean up against the wall. Oh, that! Oh my god! And it goes oh my really god. fast. I went on that thing six times in a row, and then I threw up. You can, you can literally six times in a row. The faster it goes, you Not can, you can find, you can finally like maneuver and like get yourself 30. upside down. Yeah, it's a, it's called it's it's a, yeah. it's centrifugal force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did not that one. I'm never going that thing again. What's yeah. the one you're talking about? You don't know the scrambler. It's like you sit in like a basket. And there's like three baskets adjacent to you, and it's rotates. We did that. And the entire thing okay. rotates in a circle. Oh yeah, the yeah. First, they're, they're, they're like strawberries sometimes. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. I know. I, never I mean, it's the same. Fest. It's the same design. Oh no, this wasn't at the strawberry fest. But we used to have like these rides where it's exactly what you're saying. The scrambler. Yeah, scramble. Yeah, yeah when I played scrambler. when I played roller coaster tycoon, they yeah, they call yeah, those yeah, the yeah. scrambled eggs. Yeah. yeah well, they, we had one where it was a giant uh, strawberry. You'd sit inside of it. Maybe like four people. Oh, and you fit can in rotate there. yourself. And you can pull. You can oh, turn this wheel. I had a dickhead friend. He did that, and he spent it so fast that he got dizzy. I was like, okay. I witnessed a kid get off the ride at one right. of those. He gets he gets past the gate where it says exit. Just fucking threw up all over the place. Oh, I witnessed <laughs> him. I'm like, oh god. I went on the octopus once. I, and a kid did that. Uh, I don't. Oh. Evan, remember when we were in Can- I don't know if you were with me at that time. But in Kansas Water Lane, remember that lumberjack ride? That's kind of like the uh, oh. the salt and pepper shaker. I'm getting sick just thinking about well, like, it. <laughs> I remember we were there, and there's this little girl. She gets off, and the first thing she does... Oh, she God. everywhere. And I'm I, like, yeah. Oh. oh, wait. I think I was with you, but I didn't go on the ride <laughs> with you. I've been on that ride with you, like the lumberjack. It doesn't work well. Oh yeah, no. Another, another you, you know what the other salt, ride? Salt and pepper shakers okay. were lying. Do you remember the? Do, there's a ride that makes me think of Peter Gabriel. Sledgehammer. Oh, the ride in Kansas Wonderland that never works. Yeah, it never works. And uh, the just, one time it did work, it wasn't that good. Dude, I just read something today. Yeah. Apparently, a water slide at Canada's Wonderland caught on fire, what? Or, or some part of the it's water park fire caught on fire. Like slide. That's like <laughs> fire in a water park. I mean. That's, that's a hey, song. Right there. You can easily no, like, <laughs> like, get rid of it. Post, post that. Post that meme of Palpatine. Ironic. How is ironic. Is how ironic is <laughs> No, he doesn't say how ironic. He just says, Isn't it ironic? It's ironic. ironic. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic. Oh, day. <laughs> Why did you just put it into my head of uh, Palpatine doing a cover of Jagged Little Pill, the whole album? Here's one Here's one question, and then maybe we can, like, call it because i think we got to do another podcast yeah, but we gotta, indoors we we're, bu- we're busy boys yeah. we gotta go home. here's one question it's sort of a two-parter ish but like okay. if you we're right now we're in the middle of a park right now but like if you could go back in time and like live a certain age one last time for like a half an hour to an hour what age would it be and what game would you play in this park right Half now. an hour to an hour, is, that's not long enough. Oh, that's true, yeah. The, It'd have to be 12 kind of, hours. Okay, fine. A whole, a whole afternoon. A whole afternoon. A whole afternoon at this what park. What age? Right. Wait, so... Would would I, be... Okay, would, 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 I get, would I go back to the emotional states I was in at those ages? Because some of those... Because like, I don't want to be a seven-year-old that checks out older women, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying if you can just, like, all of a sudden... Like snap your fingers and just become nine years old. Like I would be, I would, I would want to be nine again. Okay. So it'd be like uh, Dickie Roberts or something like that. But you're still, but you're an actual kid. Yeah. Like you snap your fingers, you just poof. Oh, so a kid. it's like uh, the Family Guy episode where Peter goes back. Yeah, uh, to, I guess. I don't to know. The night. Okay, yeah. I would be, I would be um, nine, I would... and I would be nine years old, and I invented a game, guys. That's I coined cool. a game. Nice. It's a simple foot race, but the second person is the winner. 
Okay, Think how so complex you, you don't that is. Be first, That's right? like the incredible. So you got, it's like, you got tons make it close, make, make it, it close. close, finish second, finish second. You got tons <laughs> of guys just looking. Up. You got tons of people backing up trying to get someone before you. You got to like cross okay, the finish line. That's kind of clever, actually. It's, yeah, I invented that a could fucking be an game. Olympic sport right there. Yeah. Uh, what would I? Be I called like? it. You, know, you remember back then? It was first the worst, second the best, third the nerd. I called the game second the best. Yeah. Oh, nice. Second the best, nice. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I well, well, okay, I I feel like I would want to be like grade six age, like maybe seven or so. Oh wait, wait. And what wait, would no, I do? Wait, for wait, wait, wait. Oh, you start school with five. Yeah. Five. Grade six, you would probably be twelve. You'd be like eleven or twelve. Okay, eleven yeah. then. I'll be eleven. And uh, I I always played this game. Like I always loved the playground every school I was in. So we had this really nice like climbing set. But then it had like a rock wall and it had like spots. And the idea is it's like almost Marco Polo. Yeah. And if you're on the gravel when someone says Marco Polo, you die. It's like the floor is lava. So, and then the other, the person saying Marco Polo is also the tagger and he's blind. Oh. So he's going to chase you around. So sometimes you have to like parkour around the uh, the jungle gym, like hang off the rail. Oh, yeah. Or like yeah. go on the, the, the monkey bars yeah. or something and dangle. No, like no fish out of water bullshit in this game. Like climb over top the slide <laughs> when he chases you down the slide. Like, yeah, that was a good one. That's a good one, yeah. I, I like Flores Lava, Marco Polo, Tag, or whatever the heck it was. So you kind of, like, combine games. That's that's pretty cool. Maybe it was called King of the Castle. I forgot what it was called exactly, but it was nice. I'm the king of the castle. Did you guys ever... Did you guys... The castle's <laughs> crash into me. Did you guys ever play uh, King of the Hill? Yep. Or, yeah, yeah. I played that. Or Red Rover? Okay, Red, Red, Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Lyle over, and it's like, you have one line joins hands, and apparently, um, the principal at, at our old elementary school, uh, ban- outlawed the game, like, outlawed the game, because apparently too many kids are getting hurt playing it, because it's like, you run, and you have to, like, break, the goal is to break, like, the line of, like, holding hands, and, like, people's heart. Oh, yeah, people I never were, liked that game, yeah. I remember that one, yeah. Play uh, Mr. Wolf, but in the dark. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. But what time is it, Blair Witch. No, can you imagine? Like, did you guys? If you guys ever went to summer camp, did you guys ever do those? Uh, I went to day camps, but if you guys ever went to overnight camps, yeah. did they ever do like fun stuff? No, the, I, I didn't do scouts. I did this thing called Beavers. Oh yeah, oh, okay. yeah. It was like a kind of a lameish Cub Scouts kind of thing. Yeah. You were telling I mean, me about that. Yeah. You're going to hear more about that when, you know. Yeah. Oh, in the school days. Right, right, right. You know, yeah, gym yeah. class was real when they got that big rainbow parachute. Oh, yeah. yeah. I hope they still have that around. They need to keep That's those wonderful. Around. Those things are so delightful. And you just get under, you hold it yeah, behind you're, yourself. You're stuck in the suction. Yeah. Or you, like, fling a ball in the air and you try to catch it. What about you, Evan? What age and what game would you play? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good question. Um... Uh, I would go back to the age of 11. Okay. Like it can't be like a card game because my at that t- at that time Yu-Gi-Oh, my friends and I, there was Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Pokemon. Ba- Digimon. You remember Beyblades? Beyblades. Uh, uh, yeah. Beyblades. I, I, never, I never got into Beyblades. It's funny. I, I got into the oh, Yu Gi Oh! I, I got into the Yu Gi Oh! card game, but I didn't like the show. But it was the opposite with Pokemon. I watched the show, but didn't like the card game. The card game is really dumb. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. The card game of Yu Gi Oh! is actually pretty fun. It's not it bad. Was, yeah, yeah Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's evol- ever since we uh, hung up our capes and put our decks away. The games change. Like, there's new types of monsters. <laughs> there's new types of abilities. You know what I did with my deck at the end of grade four? What'd you do? Like, literally, the last day of grade four, everybody, like, school's out, right? Mm-hmm. I went, hey, everybody! And they all look at me, and I just threw my deck up in the air and went, have fun. And then I, they all just pounce on these cards. I'm like, I'm done. I, I don't need to play this game. I would be... Oh. I would have been there, like, oh, boys! Limited edition! Dark Magician! Uh, 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 Black, uh, Dark Paladin! An Egyptian God card! Hey, you have two pieces of Exodia? I have three! Blue Come eyes, here! Fight me! And then, Fight me! And you got that lame kid that goes... Oh, a graveyard card. 
Uh, a grave? There were no. Oh, like a, a trap card. A like. trap card, like the very like non. <laughs> like, no, remember uh, Fe- Fisher. Oh wow! I can't remember. Oh any wow! Of those. It's yeah. Time Wizard. Nice. I was trying to think. I was trying or a power up card. Like so, uh, my joke was that so, some 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 lame kid that's excited about. Okay, you can get that card in any deck you get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> monster reborn. Every every pack and deck came with a monster reborn. I mean, you yeah. need them. <laughs> So little car games, okay. But yeah, going back I mean, to that counts. That yeah, counts. Uh, no. That counts, so so yeah. what I would do. Um, I remember that Josh can vouch for this. There was a time where Josh and our friend Brandon would play Power Rangers on the schoolyard at age ten. Oh yeah, imaginary. like imaginary Power Rangers. And to to other kids, it just looks like we were punching air, but we were yeah. fighting. We were fighting like Megazords, Orgs, and all That's kinds of Vanquish. It yeah. was like D&D before. It was like LARPing before we even knew what yeah. LARPing was. I did that too. And like me and my friends, we'd pick like a superhero and I always picked Cyclops. Nice. Brandon always wanted to be Batman. <laughs> I Batman. Apparently he let, me yeah. be, he let me be the Flash at one point. I'm trying to think of something. Something just pops in my head. Because like the jungle gyms that I came from had like sand on the bottom, right? We didn't have gravel or like the padded stuff. We had like both had sand today. and gravel at our school. We had sand. And I, I used to play with action figures a lot in like the sand. But I'm trying to think. Had Dune came out when I was nine or ten, uh, what I, 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 I hope I would have liked it. I know I, it's a little bit slower, not like an action pack thing. But like had I had action figures of that would be pretty badass to actually put the put the fucking sand like a like a sandworm in the no, sand. No, no, sandworm's your hand. You just go through yeah. the sand. Or it's a puppet. Get one of those like sandworm yeah, it's puppets. Like, it's like a hand puppet. Yeah. Like, like the dinosaur toys from McDonald's. Get like a polytrace, put it in the sand. You I, would like get, I would get snapshots. I, I, would... I would get a camera and be like and try to get it from like almost look like miniatures. That would be cool. And with yeah. that, uh, we should probably there, there was one it. last thing. You remember how you were talking oh, about sure. uh, fun houses? You actually yes. reminded me of okay. When I was like five, there was an indoor amusement park at some mall called the Woodbine Center. It's something that, yeah, so so it was out by the airport. So my dad would take me to this indoor amusement park at, at this mall. Yeah. And there was a, a house of mazes. My dad was the biggest asshole ever. Like he would run in, he, he would like, like, Evan, come catch me. And it's like, <laughs> He would run all over the place, and then like I would be like, "Hey, are you there?" And then I'd go run, and then he'd like run, and then like I would actually he act I would actually get lost in the maze, and then I would cry, and then like he would come get me. Oh, we got a little friend here in the show. Hey, it's a doggo. <laughs> he wants to, and he's bringing us a little uh, this toy. Oh, hey boy. Hey What's buddy. Going? What's going? Bruce. Hi Bruce. Bruce. Hi Bruce. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Bye Bruce. <laughs> And, uh, oh, that's a cool note to end off on. That's great. Yeah, yeah. for sure. The benefits of, you yeah, know, being outdoors. being outdoors. Yeah. The great outdoors. Now let's go home. <laughs> now let's, let's, let's go back into our caves. Yeah, well, we got to do another one. We're, bu- we're busy guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had fun. Maybe we could do this again sometime. I'd love to do this again. Get out, and ha- get out and have fun. Get the fuck outside. Yeah, you, listening to this. And if you're outside already listening to this on your phone, Awesome. Now get the fuck off your phone and go enjoy nature.